we tried uh, ramping up to 45 degrees. Of course, this is not uh, the application a customer wants to use, but we wanted to try what's uh, the top level of this tool. That's amazing. 45 degrees is a ridiculous ramp angle. Obviously, you're putting a lot of force on and a lot of wear on the, on the bottom face of that cutting tool, which you wouldn't want to do normally, but that, that's incredible. We're here at Mac 2022 talking to ZCC, Dennis from ZCC, talking about the new VPM series Mill. Now, what is the VPM for? So, the VPM series is our new special tool for high chip volume in steel and cast iron applications. So, if you have a full slot application or big AEs, this is the perfect tool for that. So, what does high volume chip, app chip applications actually mean? So the highest chip volume every time is the full slot. So we have the possibility with this tool go up to two times D in a full slot application, the completely tool um, in one step. So this is about hogging out material, really roughing it out and trying to get achieve the, the highest metal removal rates possible. What about the finish that you get from this as well? Could you maybe skip a semi-finishing step with this kind of end mill? So if you don't need the perfect surface, of course, you can also make a finishing application with it. But uh, the definitely the, uh, the benefit of this tool is the uh, high chip volume. I noticed that because obviously most uh, full slotting uh, end mills will have a ripper form geometry. Yeah. Whereas this is a straight edge. Why is it a straight edge? So we have a straight edge because in the most... Uh, Sometimes for a roughing application we don't need a finished surface. If you just want to cut out material and you don't need a good surface, you can uh, leave it after that. So you put out the material and that's it. Okay. I, I also noticed it's a center cutting end mill. So can you helically, uh, can you ramp in or helically uh, ramp into a, to a pocket? So yes, you can, of course, you can also ramp. Um, we tried uh, ramping up to 45 degrees. Of course, this is not uh, the application a customer wants to use, but we wanted to try what's uh, the top level of this tool. Um, but in application, in serials, uh, 15 to 20 percentage, uh, no problem. That's incredible, 45 degrees. Nobody really wants to ramp at that. That's, how do you do it? There's so much force on the bottom of that end mill. How, how does that work? So we have a uh, um, special solid carbide, uh, which is very tough, uh, which is uh, very stable for the vibrations in these applications. We have uh, special angles, so we have a very big free angle, so we can uh, ramp without problems with pressure or something like that. And um, because of the special form of the chip chamber, we have enough space to evacuate all these chips. So and that's uh, the secret. That's good. That's, well, yeah, you told everyone now, so everyone knows the secret, unfortunately. <laughs> but I noticed there's also a massive gash angle, which I've not seen in this kind of end mill before, and yet you still maintain a massive core diameter. Now, are these the two things you're trying to optimize with this kind of design? So, yes, um, because uh, normally you have, um, you have two problems. You want to have the stability, so you want a big core, but you also want space for the chips. So, and because of that, we uh, tr uh, decided to change the form of the chip chambers so we get a lot of space. We have about 80% of the tool is massive core. So we have a lot of stability with a lot of space for the chips. Brilliant. And options wise, what kind of options do you get with these M mills? So we start with the option. We have a screw on version with our patented uh, Q thread system for the QCH. So you can put it on uh, different length shanks. We also have the option to get a, a solid carbide tool uh, with a straight shank and also with the weld on in future it's possible. Um, this is only the start of the series. In future, maybe torical end mills and everything also possible. You heard it here first, absolutely hogging out steel material, massive chip evacuation, and a stable end mill with that huge core diameter. Check out ZCC for your steel roughing needs.